I will never retire. Woo! Not unless my name's Aaron Moy, because at the age of 42, Aaron Moy is considering retiring. Yeah. What is that all about? Come o on! Only one year into his Celtic deal, and it looks like he's ready to pull the plug. Now, he's considering his Celtic future after Brendan Rodgers' arrival, but his midfielder teammates at Australia seem to think he's done. He can't be arsed. I'll tell you what, when you watch him play, you kind of get that vibe. You look at him and you think, what's he, what's he all about? Yeah, he's a bit he lethargic, slugs a, He to be slugs honest. about the midfield, man. It, outside the boot passes, like it's a fucking testimonial. So you don't think this is an Ange Postacoglu issue where he's like, ah, oh, my fellow Australians left, so I'm, I don't care anymore? You think he's no interest in being there? Well, you know, mate. Ah, uh, uh, well, is he good enough for Tottenham? No. Aaron Moy? No. Oh, he used to play in the Premier League. I for Huddersfield and Brighton. Oh, I mean, Brighton. The Bri he they were shite when they were even yeah. Brighton. It's not the Roberto de Sorgby, but, like, let's not pretend that Aaron Moy is, like, the greatest thing since sliced bread. He, if he retired, right, is it going to change anything at Celtic? Let's, let's be real. Is it? He's a good player to have, like, but I don't think Celtic will be uh, crying their eyes at. I don't think they'll be panicking. He's I, I don't think Brendan Rodgers will be getting down his hands and knees and begging him to stay. Yeah, it will be one of those cases of if he retires or leaves, it's like, here, not remember we had Aaron Moy. Well, not we, like, it's fucking no part of we, but Celtic fans are like, oh, not remember we had Aaron Moy. Sometimes he was season. great, sometimes he was shite. Aye, like, I mean, that game against St. Johnson where he, he chipped the goalie, man, he's getting like 10 assists a game. There was a period, was it after the World Cup? Aye. I think it was just before the World Cup, the World Cup, then after the World Cup, like three months, where he, I mean, he was probably like the best player in the league. For yeah. some weird, and then, I, but either side of that, He'd be up there with like the most overrated. I don't think I, I don't think people really noticed though when he dropped off form. No one really he didn't really get criticised, he only seemed to get praised. He was the worst player on the pitch for Celtic beat Rangers. Sums up how shite Rangers are though. He was awful. Couldn't play a single pass that day. No, he he was not he was really bad that that game. And I think it his style kind of works. He can kind of be hidden in a Celtic team where you don't really need if everyone else is doing the, the, the hard work around you, like Hattati and McGregor are running the boot, it suits him just to be like a lazy bastard in the midfield. Yeah, I thought it was a strange signing. when I, I He didn't really strike me as an Ange type player. I know they've got the Australian connection. They managed him. But yeah, apart from that though, he just doesn't really strike me as someone at Ange. I think it was just a cool action scene. When you look at the other players Ange brought in, I don't know. Moy didn't really seem to fit that bill for me. Well, I mean, there you go. Uh, Although I will say, I think he's been a he's not, he, he's not been the level of a McCarthy, let's be honest. It's not like he was a Premier League dud that simply came to earn a paycheck. He has contributed to Celtic's success, so uh, yeah, I'll give him that. He, he did spend two years previously in Shanghai Port. I mean, he could, let's be real, the amount of money that's getting pumped into the Saudi Arabian leagues at the minute, I, I could see him moving there. I, I, I don't, he can't, he would walk into most teams midfield in that league. Yeah. So now, I mean, maybe in a year's time when they've literally bought all Europe's players, he won't walk in, but only time will tell. Uh, let's rate his potential retirement chances out of 10. I'm going to give it a 3. I feel like 32 in this day and age, unless you have a medical condition, is far too young. Yeah, I mean, he does have one year left. I think you'll see it out. It'd be a bit shit if he literally just turned around Celtic and went, nah, I'm done, I'm retiring. It's all over, mate. Foster is good call. I think that we, uh, I think we will see him see it this season coming up. Like you said, he has, I mean, he has to, I can see him leaving Celtic, but retiring altogether. I mean, we've, we've, you've, 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 you have talked a lot recently about ages. What Kevin Van Veen, thirty-two man, and he could have done a job. This guy's thirty-two. He wants to go into retirement. Home. Exactly. That's it. I mean, I've, I've ages looked into way too much. Kevin Van Veen is going to Holland. To Maybe he just wants to end his career with a treble. Possibly, but I could see him leaving Celtic and maybe going back to Australia. Maybe he wants to be closer to home. I just don't see the guy retiring altogether. Fair enough. But anyway, I think he's still got a bit to offer. I'm rating it a three. What you rate? I'm rating it like a one. I don't see him retiring with a year left on his contract. Now, if he'd only signed a one-year deal and it, it, his contract was expiring and Celtic wanted to keep him, they wanted an extension, and there was talk about rumours of retirement then I could possibly see it happening I'd be more for it I'd be more likely to believe it but I just don't think with a year to go that he's going to walk out and basically down tools and be you know, like nah I'm away I'm done I'm retiring I don't see that happening I see where you're coming from and that is where we're going to end this video he's not quite the nature boy he never retires but Aaron Moy 
he will. Like, if he does, I w- if this was the end of next year, I'd say the chances are definitely higher. But 32 is far too young. But anyway, who? It doesn't really matter. Celtic will be able to replace him. Brendan Rodgers character. Can he show great character? Only time will tell. Till next time, though. It's all about the character. Character.